Hey what's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm showing you how to make a soundboard in Unity. First we need a canvas for that and a button. We will use the button so we can play the sound l later on. We first make the button a little bit bigger so we can't miss it when we try to click the button or tap the button if it's on the mobile phone. You can create that of course for the mobile phone and I would recommend that if you want to publish it. Because when your soundboard goes viral just put some ads in it and you get rich. Let's create a new script. Let's call it play the sound. Perfect. In the script we delete first the both methods, the start and update method. Oh I deleted the curly bracket and the using text at the top. Now we need a pub new public audio audio source let's call it sound then we need a private bool is play and now we create the method for the button that will be a public void play sound there we have it now you need an if else statement if is playing so if the sound is playing then this happens and then else so if not then this happens if the sound is playing the sound should stop and of course is playing equal to false and else so if it is not playing then sound dot start oh sound dot play and is playing equals true. That's the whole script we need. It is already on the button and now we add on click and on click action button. So th our script we just made play the sound, play sound. And now we need an audio source. We add, we simply add an audio source to the button. There it is. And first click on the play on awake because it should not play on awake because we control it over the button. And then turn the value, uh, volume up a little bit down. That's perfect. And then we all we add the audio source to the to our script. So so it looks like that. Now we put an audio we put a sound or a, a music clip in our audio source and I just take uncontrollable pixels by Spushu. Spushu makes pretty good music in my opinion that's why I use it now for an example. Now we have everything we got everything and we just need to play and if we click on the button right now the sound starts playing. Let's see. Yeah and if we click now again it turns off. Perfect. That's the whole idea of a soundboard or a sound button. You can multi you can do it now multiple time times. For example, I duplicate the button now and put it on the left of the main button of the first button we ma we've made. Now I put in the audio source just another clip like metronome. And now it both does both works. So it works for them. Now metronome plays, metronome stops, uncontrollable bullshit plays, uncontrollable bullshit stops. We can also play both at the same time, but I wouldn't recommend that. That's just the simple idea of a sound button or a sound board if you may do it now multiple times. And that's it. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something and I hope I will see you in the next time. Bye.